So if you're looking forward to Android 16 based custom ROM based on QPR1, actually this is Evolution X. So it's been here from some time now, uh, but with this new update, basically we have a lot of features back, a lot of features, the customizations, which you were getting with Android 16 stable version, the previous version, which was based on pre-QPR. It's already available in this case. A lot of features are back, so that's good. It's based on latest security patch, latest update and so on. If you move on to this Evolver settings, you'll see themes, lock screen and so on. Every customization which you get, which you saw in the previous update is almost here. So that's good. This is a great improvement. And in case you have followed the Evolution X OS channel on Telegram or Discord, you might have noticed that they shared an update with you that official devices will get rolled out. So they will get the updates rolled out very, very soon. So that's good. The version I'm using in this case, it's available for Poco F5. It's available for a few other devices already. So you can go and give it a try. Remember one thing that we have the support for app lock with this new update. So that's good. If you use app lock, if you love to use app lock on a device, it's finally available here. So you can use it on a device. Remember these kind of things are just so good. Many users might love this thing. Many users might not. It's completely up to you. Including this app lock feature, the cloned apps feature is already here. So you can go and give it a try. Also, the sidebar feature is also there. Alongside with that, a lot of customizations in that. So you can adjust the corner radius, you can adjust the layout settings, slider settings, you can change the position and a lot more other things. Move on to battery section. One update we saw which was not having the battery percentage option there because we are with the latest Android 16 QPR one that's necessary. It's here, it is working well and it also does have the option for charging control. Maybe you use this feature, maybe you not. I personally don't use it much. It's available with Lineage OS custom room also. And as far as I know, it's based on Lineage OS. So the features you get in Lineage OS also present in this case. If you move on to miscellaneous options, you will find application downgrade, the option for no storage restrict. We also have the option for ignore Windows secure flags and so on. A lot of features are already present in this case, which you were expecting. Including that, we also have the option for hiding screen capture status, hiding the developer status, hiding app list, and a lot more other things related to that. If you move on to spoofing options, what you will see, we have the option for play integrity and so on, like pixel props are also there, and the option for Google Photos spoofing, higher FPS, which are quite common spoofing features right now. But remember one thing that uh, like spoofing, we have the option for play integrity kind of things. Those th those kind of things are temporary. So if you're not getting past play integrity and that is that is quite common, you can simply use some key box and so on to fix that. It's quite easy. The default launcher as expectedly is a pixel launcher. So no launcher three yet based on QPR one. That will be quite exciting to see how the things will unfold after that. One more thing is app drawer blur is already there. So it's good. It's not gone. It's available. It looks good actually as compared to many other things. And one more thing is if you see this default app named as BCR named as basic call recorder is a most and amazing looking amazing useful Android app for many users. Why so? Because by default Google dialer sometimes does not give you the call recording options. And even if it has, it has the call recording announcement. Now call recording beep available there. Basic call recorder works good. And with this new update, we have the option for show launcher icon. So you can disable this launcher icon if you don't need it. And also have the option how to, so you can, how to can unhide that, how to see the things available there. Everything else is just kind of similar. So yes, it does have some options related to notifications. It does have the option for status bar customizations, quick settings panel customizations, lock screen customizations, and a lot more things. If you want to give it a try, you can. Obviously, link is in the description for some of the devices supported. If you use, if you're using Poco F5, like in my case, I'm using that. It does have the Evolution X OS group available on Telegram, so you can find out the builds there. And official rollout maybe starting in a day or two, so make sure to keep it eye on that. This is it. These were things just wanted to let you know all the features which you are seeing right now. Almost kind of similar which you were getting with previous Evolution X OS custom ROM, so that's good. So yes, these were things just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Many custom ROM videos are already available on this channel. Many custom ROM videos are coming. This is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.